Okay, so now that uh, we have imported everything into uh, Unreal and uh, we have everything set up, we can start on working on the materials. So let's begin uh, with, uh, let's begin with what? Let's begin by doing these. I think they are much simpler. Uh, this foliage, uh, this, uh, I don't know how you can, you would describe that. So um, in Unreal Engine, uh, the first thing you would do is uh, import the textures that are you're going to use. So uh, since uh, we are in Blender, uh, in Blender you can go under, under File, External Data, and then pack everything, all the textures you have used into one into the blend file. And then you can see we have packed six files. That means that uh, all the image textures we have used have been packed into this blend file. And uh, again, you can do File, External Data, unpack all files into fi unpack all into files and uh, all the saved textures will be extracted from the from the blend file into a folder uh, that this helps you uh, collect all the uh, all the textures you have used into one area so let me just open file location so you can see all the textures we have used are here can see exactly six texture textures as uh, we had there in the compiler in the compiling so yeah so we want to import these into blender into unreal so i'll just select them like that uh, this is just the uh, hdr image uh, that we used and this is uh, the sketch we use so we won't be we won't be needing that so i'll just import this into unreal directly like that it takes a few seconds so let's give it that time. Okay. Yeah, so we are, they have been imported and uh, ready to work on. So the first thing you need to do is uh, create uh, the material. So right click, uh, then material call this grass one and uh, i can double click to open the editor uh this is a node editor like what we have in blender uh, so let's go to shading uh select this let me turn on overlays select this and uh, just to see how uh these nodes look <coughs> so uh the node setup in blender is almost is nearly the same as Unreal, as I've been playing around in Unreal. Uh, so we're going to be following uh, the same uh, the, the same node setup we did here and try to replicate that in uh, Blender, in, uh, sorry, in Unreal. Uh, you can see we have PBR, uh, the principal B BSD F shader here, and uh, it, it has the same uh, node, set n node inputs uh, like we have like like you see in unreal you see we have the best color metallic roughness uh it follows pbr textures uh the pbr uh shaders so so there is nothing that different from it from it so you can see best color uh metallics roughness and everything else so yeah let's also do that so for so we want to bring in first we want to bring in our texture here uh, also have some UV coordinates and then fit that into the color into into the base color uh, but uh, for this that here that you see here I used a gradient I think this here and uh, overlaid it on top of uh, this texture so let's do that in Unreal so for that let's uh, we need this texture we just drag it and uh, and we'll have it in the node setup. Then we can connect uh, this the first node uh, to the base color. Let's see, should come up in a second. I don't know why it takes a while to to load in. Uh, but uh, you see that uh, our UVs, our texture is too large, uh, so we need to scale it down a bit. And uh, you can save uh, this for now and apply it on this on the object uh, so that we can see how it will look on the object itself 
uh, before we do anything else. So there are a few ways to apply the texture on the object. You can just drag the text, uh, the material directly onto the object. Uh, but uh, what you have dragged, what you what you have added on the object is the main texture itself. So, but uh, Unreal Engine has something called instances, uh, material instances uh, that uh, you can create a material li like this, but uh, make uh, an instance and uh, make small edits to it and uh, so that you have variations of the same material and uh, if you want to make edits to in on on every object that is using that material you just go or you just go back to the base material and uh, make the the edits that are applied to the to the int all the objects using that material so let me call this grass copy one so and then we can apply this this and uh, maybe we can you we can also create another instance uh, from here create instance and call this copy two so you can see that uh, they're using the same uh, the same main material but uh, they're using the diff different instances so you can come in and uh, make changes to this instance and say maybe you want the, the grass here to be a bit brownish and uh, this one can be maybe a bit reddish and maybe create another instance that is uh, a bit uh, bluish, whatever. But so instances help you make variations of uh, the same texture or the same shader. Uh, but uh, if you want to say maybe change the entire, the main parts. So I guess I'm explaining this wrong, but uh, what I'm saying, but uh, what, I, what, I, what I'm trying to explain here is that, uh, so the way instances work uh, is that, uh, so you have a main material like what we have here. And uh, if you want to have variations, uh, you can create variations of that texture. You can set up uh, different options that you want to be different for every instance. So you can say that uh, I want on the ma main material, I want the ability to control uh, the opacity of every object that has uh, that material, uh, but uh, but uh, I want the color of every instance to be different. So the op the opacity option would be baked in into the main uh, material, but the instance would not have. Uh, so when you change the opacity on the main on the main material, it would change on every object you have in your scene uh, that is using that material as an instance, uh, but. Uh, if you want to change the color, you would have to go in to every individual object that is using that instance and then change that uh, particular color. So that's what f that's what instancing uh, works in uh, Unreal Engine. So let's go to the main material here. I think it's called it's this one here. And uh, let's add let's first add that option of changing the color on every instance. So to add color, you can uh, right click and add something called a uh, vector parameter uh, this is the same as a uh, texture sample but uh, instead of using a texture you just select a color you want here so you just double click and now you can add a color like uh, pink there and uh, we can use this to control uh, the different colors of <coughs> every <coughs> of any instance so to we we need to overlay it or use a blending mode uh, to to affect uh, the final output of this color. <coughs> so you can right click and use <coughs> multiply or overlay, blend overlay. So we are going to experiment and see uh, what would work best. So you can connect this and then this and then this uh, to the base color like that and uh, we can give it a moment a, sec a few seconds see how that would look so you can see we have given that color that material as uh, some color so now this option here uh, whatever when you add a parameter like this uh, this means that uh, it can be changed uh, for any instance of that object so if we save this <coughs> I 
need to give it a second you can see our grass all uh, every instance of the grass that is using that material has changed uh, the color but uh, we can go into these instances so we have copy one let me first rename this to say master master and this uh, this, this this is copy one and this is copy two so i can double click on this and you can see when you when you open up the instance you won't see the nodes you will just see the options that you can change so you, you see we have this parameter so you just check it like that and i can uh, give it a different color maybe make it a bit greenish like that hit okay then save you can see now <coughs> The instance that is using that material has changed the color, but uh, the other instance, because we haven't changed that material, it retains uh, the same color. So we can also come into that and uh, change uh, that color to maybe. So if you want to leave it, because we are using the overlay blending mode, uh, when you set uh, the color to white, it won't then it won't uh, the color won't be affected because uh, how blending modes work. So click OK and then save you can see now this is green and uh, this is uh, purple so, so we can have different instances like that and uh, so I don't think we had I had that option uh, for this material but uh, I thought it was a cool uh, thing to show to demonstrate here so in the next tutorial I think we can add this dust here and maybe some bump mapping that we see here and maybe our UV tiling to scale down uh, the texture uh, because I think this is a bit uh, too large for our scene. So yeah.